Hey YouTube, it's Anya Ivy, and I'm back. <laughs> this is the fourth video. Yikes, time really flies. Um, since I've started the channel, I have been evaluating or trying to figure out what I really want to talk about, how I want to grow this space. So this video is about the three questions you'll ask yourself when starting a brand. Since I recently started to really think of my Ivy Diary as a growing platform or brand, whatever you may call it. So I got these questions from this audiobook that I've been listening to. It's called Branding Basics for Small Business by Maria Ross. And she asks her readers to ask themselves three questions when determining the foundation of your brand. I thought it would be wise to ask myself these questions since I was having trouble thinking of the right thing to talk about. What do I blog about? How, what do I include in my online presence that I am building for myself? Since one of the ways that people can view me is through my sexy videos online. So these are the three questions. And I advise everyone who is having a little writer's block about their brand or business, or just don't know which way to turn, or just really want to redefine what their motives are. I think these three questions really have you dig deep inside yourself and ask yourself what is important. So the first question is, what is it? What is your brand? And I've written my Ivy Diary by Anya Ivy, the online blog site and YouTube blog. Simple, right? But it took a long time for me to come up with something clear and concise and to the point of what it is I'm actually wanting to grow and focus on. Pick the one tree, right? <laughs> The next question is how, how will you do it? And it took a long time, I think a couple days of, you can see scratching and side notes to just get it all down and be sure. Uh, so the first thing I said was by creating productions and online content that generate positivity. So putting everything together very nicely, all of the videos that I'll compile and photo series that I might shoot to go along with the written, I'll add some visual uh, blog entries, just the entries themselves, making sure that everything I produce generates positivity. By narrating stories in creative and interesting ways, so against the norm, uh, very artistic, wanting to be bright and colorful in the narration of not only my stories, but the stories of others. And by cultivating fruitful relationships slash collaborations. <laughs> I really think that to get far anywhere, you need other people lifting you up, you lifting them up, hands working together. That's the only way, y'all. That's important. It's important to have the desire to work with other people in order to get far, I think. And the why. Why are you even doing it? And the author explains how the why never really changes much the how and the what may shift over time, but your core motive is something that you'll hold on to the entire time. So the why would be for me to connect with my audience on a deeper level and narrate my story in a creative way. I think on the blog I wrote just to creatively narrate stories. I 
don't want to allow the internet to have full control over the way I am perceived if someone wants to look me up. You know, that's what people will see mostly. I want to have some control over the way I am perceived online. I have always thought that that was important to me. Just sharing me in a way I can really be proud of. I know my audience right now is mostly men, but I aim to be an inspiration to everyone. I don't want to be closed off to just one group of people. So that is why I do what I do and take the free time out to create and create and create. So my main mission is to connect and inspire. I think that's good, right? <laughs> if you try these three questions for yourself and your brand, let me know how it goes. Please feel free to leave comments. I really love receiving positive feedback. And I mean, here's to video number five. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited for this journey and I'm excited for everyone else to come along with me. Let's do it.